Hey, what's going on? If you're a loan officer and you're tired of chasing real estate agents, having to get their business, their loyalty, compete against everybody else, and you're looking for additional sources that you can get loans from, then guess what? Good news, this video is gonna solve that problem. Stick around. So what I'm gonna share with you is three sources that you can get uh, loans from that'll actually add up to an additional 10 to 15 loans a month if you know what you're doing outside of real estate agents because I know that you're probably frustrated and every other loan out officer out there is chasing agents as well. So the first place is family law attorneys. I mean, think about it. Right now, I don't know if you're aware or not, but the divorce rate in this country is skyrocketing. In Collin County, Texas alone, there's like 30,000 divorces filed each and every month. A lot of that is due to the, the economy recovering and people being able to actually split up and pay their child support and divide their assets because they actually have them again, right? Like who figures? So the other thing about divorce attorneys that's really cool is you're getting multiple transactions, right? In most cases, they need to sell one house and potentially buy or rent two more. So that's a great place for you to be able to give referrals to real estate agents so guess what they chase you instead of you having to chase them right how cool is that uh, but I mean think about it. you get one sell two buys sometimes you get uh, a refinance we need to get one person or the other one spouse or the other off the title either way it's multiple transactions for you now also attorneys don't do real estate what they do is they file legal documents in the court and they argue on behalf of their clients they don't know the inside workings of being a real estate agent they don't know how to finance loans being a loan officer and they just as soon hand that over to you and let you deal with it then come up with a bad answer themselves so if you're not currently prospecting family law attorneys, you are missing out on a tremendous, a tremendous chunk of the market that can make you a massive amount of money. And if you'll stick around at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a funnel that can actually attract them to where they will send you referrals. All right, now let's check out the number two spot. The second place that you can get a lot of transactions from and close deals with is CPA, Certified Public Accountants. There's multiple reasons that they can refer you business and that you can actually help them in return as well, right? First of all, they know who has money. They deal with everybody's taxes and finances down to the point. A lot of them have bookkeepers, so they know every detail of your client's life so they can send you in the right direction of people who actually qualify for mortgages instead of bad credit people that are broke, right? Second thing is, they know who needs to buy and sell, right? If a CPA is looking at your taxes, they say, hey, it's time for you to upgrade so you can get this mortgage right off to where it'll actually save you money on your taxes. They can refer that over to you as well. They also know who needs to downgrade, right? It's not like you wanna do smaller loans, but sometimes that happens, and they can send you to people that need to change their financial situation so you can help them out as well. And also, CPAs need help marketing. I don't know about you, but most CPAs that I've met don't have much of a personality. They're number crunchers. They're not salespeople like us. And if you can help them with their marketing, send them referrals, things of that nature, they will become 100% loyal to you and send you as many deals as they possibly can. Now let's talk about that third source. All right, and the third and final spot, not the last spot, but the final spot for this segment is jewelers. Now I know what you're thinking, what do jewelry store owners have to do with uh, being able to get mortgage loans and things like that from? Well, I wanna challenge you to change your paradigm shift when it comes to jewelers. First of all, they know people with money. Broke people don't buy diamonds, right? Broke people don't buy platinum gold or any of that stuff as fancy accessories for themselves, right? People have to have money to be able to buy jewelry. Second of all, they know people that are about to get married or celebrate a huge upcoming life event. They know people that are gonna be newlyweds, they know the guys that are shopping for rings, and guess what happens when you get married to somebody? The next step is to buy a house, logically, right? Especially for those of you that market for first-time home buyers, a jewelry store owner is the perfect place, the perfect person to send you referrals because they know everybody that's getting married that's ready to move up into a house. And then the third reason why jewelers are a great place to get loans from is they know investors, people that invest in diamonds and gold and jewels and stuff like that, tend to invest in real estate as well. So if you're not taking advantage of building relationships with jewelers, then you're missing out on another large segment of the marketplace. See, agents hold a really minute segment of the marketplace when you think about it. You can take these three sources and do more business just from them than when anybody in your office is doing with real estate agents, and I'm going to show you how now. All right, so what we have here is the four-step process it takes for you to be able to capture a lead from a jeweler, from a family law attorney, or from a CPA. It's real simple. You take traffic from Facebook. We'll add just a little FB here just to be all uh, fancy. 
you take traffic from Facebook right now the average cost per click on my marketing campaigns on Facebook is 12 cents you can't get that on Google for any mortgage or real estate related keyword at all Facebook right now is the wild wild west of PPC pay-per-click marketing and if you're not taking advantage of it you're missing out in a large way so what I do is I typically make a video just like the one that you're watching right now that adds content and value to the people in the audience that are watching it I upload that video to a Facebook page just like you're watching right now and actually from there I'll give you a call to action at the end of the video where I tell you to click the link next to the video which by the way when this is over with that's what exactly I'm gonna ask you to do and when you click the link it takes you to a place called Wufu and that's this second step right here one two and what that does is that allows me to capture all of your information your email name address phone number whatever I want feedback wise from you that way if I make a decision from the application that we're able to work together we can get on the phone it's the same thing when you're advertising to lawyers CPAs and jewelers you're just making sure that there are going to be a fit for what you're trying to do to help them out the third step is after you go through the woofoo form then you set up a scheduler I use schedule once it's a $19 a month service I send you a link you click it you set up a time it automatically puts it in my calendar I check the calendar I know to call you at the right time you can do the same thing for your business that way you have a different link for CPAs a different link for attorneys and a different link for jewelers so that you know exactly who it is that's getting on the phone with you each time that you look in your calendar and you see that you have leads stacked up and the four then final step of the whole simple advertising process is the closing call after they set a time on your calendar after they've gone through all the trouble and everything to go ahead and fill out the application and all you've got to do is get on the phone with them and make sure that you answer all their questions correctly give them the call to action which is work with me and I will help you look it's four simple steps you don't have to complicate it four simple steps three new referral sources 10 to 15 deals a month look if you're interested to know a little bit more about this in detail and want to find out how advertising and everything else on Facebook can benefit you and your mortgage business in a way that you can't even imagine then simply click the link next to this video fill out the form set up a time on my scheduler and you and I'll get on a phone call together and decide whether it's the right time for us to work hey thank you for watching this video feel free to share the link with of this video with anybody in your office your branch manager your broker and everybody else I want this message to get out and help as many loan officers like yourself as possible later